And I work, as I say, in the creative industries, helping creative people to be smart with business. And so my first book was called T-Shirts and Suits. This is a metaphor. T-shirts representing the, the cool, creative people making computer games or films or animations, art or music. And suits, the word suits representing smart business thinking. Because if we combine creative passion with smart business thinking, we can achieve amazing success. And my book gives lots of examples about how businesses in those sectors can be smart with marketing and leadership and intellectual property and finance and business planning and business growth and other things. So it's a business book for people who don't normally read business books. And I'm proud to say it's been published in translations in 13 countries around the world. And the first Spanish translation, congratulations Colombia, yes, was here in Colombia, before it was published in Spain or later in Chile. So the book is available in Spanish. Camisetas y corbatas, una guía para los negocios creativos. I urge you to take a look at it. The book actually is also available as a free download in English, a PDF download, on my website, davidparish.com. You have Wi-Fi, you could download it now while we're speaking, free of charge. It's yours for the taking, protected by a Creative Commons license, but please take it, print it, share it, and read it. Now, I was introduced kindly before as a consultant, indeed I am, but they didn't tell you I was also a mind reader. I can read your minds. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this guy is stood on the stage talking about business, but did he just say that he gives away his book? What a stupid guy he is. Well. In doing that, I'm using a business model called freemium. This is a hybrid word, combining free and premium. Because sometimes if you give something away for free, you can charge a premium price later or to some of your customers. So maybe you give away the software for free, but if you want to buy the manual to use it properly, you have to pay $100. And there are many examples of these kind of free samples or giving something away for free to make more money later. And in my case, I give away my book for free for two reasons which are not contradictory. The first, if it doesn't sound too grand, is that it's my gift to the world. I really want creative people to be smart with business. That's my passion and my mission. But at the same time, the book acts as my advertising my brochure, my manifesto. And because the book is out there and people are sharing it, I one day got a phone call from Taiwan who said, David, we've seen your book, we love it. We'd like to publish it in translation in complex Chinese with your permission and we'll pay you a licensing fee. And we'd like to fly you to Taiwan, business class, to speak at a conference and of course we'll pay you handsomely. And while you're here, another organization wants you to deliver a workshop for young entrepreneurs, and they will pay you too. So by giving something away for free, I made a lot of money elsewhere. So maybe I'm not as stupid as I look.